mother or the surviving parent, then aunt, the mother, usually female family figure. And I believe she was inspired by the Yimi because she had trained in France. Mm -hmm. I will check that with her. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah, but the, the, the idea of representing uh, the subjectivity to, through a line seems to me interesting. Pathways. The line of life. The, the difference which are in, implied, involved in this understanding of the theory of the implied theory of subjectivity of Foucault, it becomes clear if we uh, now analyze uh, the relationship between uh, Foucault and uh, um, the French historian of uh, ancient philosophy, Pierre Hadou. They had met, and uh, they were in some way friends in the last years of his <coughs> co life. Uh, Addo is an uh, important historian of philosophy. What he discovered, uh, historian of ancient philosophy, what he discovered is that ancient philosophy is not a doctrine, uh, it's not a system of uh, statement, uh, principles is it is first of all a form of life, a way of living. And philosophy is a way of living. A said discovery in a certain sense is not a discovery because it's obvious no, that, that for Greek philosopher philosophy was a way of living is uh, obvious. But then he concentrated on this problem and it, so he, he strongly focused on this problem and uh, so now this idea that we have to look to, to philosophy as a form of life, a way of living, and not only as a doctrine, is, is often referred to him. So he was, of course, interested when uh, Foucault, in the last year of his life, as we saw, concentrated, focused on the problem of uh, hard existence, uh, static of life, uh, etc., etc care of the self, practice of the self, then Ado was very interested, but he didn't feel at ease with Foucault's way of uh, uh, posting this problem. So I quote, so he wrote, after Foucault's death, he, he, he wrote a, a text precisely on this problem. The problem of uh, Foucault's conception of uh, the art of life, the art of art of existence, and his own conception of philosophy as a way of living. I quote this text, so it is relating to Foucault's last uh, words. In this care of the self, in this working of the self on itself, in this practice of the self, I too recognize an essential aspect of philosophical life. Philosophy is an art of living, a lifestyle which engages the entire existence. So, he agrees with Foucault, but, but I would not speak like Foucault does of an aesthetics of the existence. According to Michel Foucault, the meaning of this expression, aesthetics of the existence, is that our own life is a work that we must achieve. But the term aesthetics, for us modern, con conveys, has a meaning which is different from the sense that the word beauty had for the ancients. The modern tend to represent the beautiful as an autonomous reality, independent from good and evil, while for the Greeks, the term beauty, kalos, had a strong moral connotation. This is why I think that instead of speaking of a curve of the self or a culture of the self, like Buddha's, we should rather speak of a transformation 
a transfiguration and an overcoming of the self. The proper term for that should be wisdom, a word that Foucault never or extremely rare employs. What is a tissue is not the construction of the self, but rather an overcoming of the ego. So this text seems clear eh, and relevant. Eh, so there is a coincidence with Foucault and then a very strong uh, objection. But I will try to show as this uh, criticism of Ado is again grounded on a misunderstanding of Foucault theory of subjectivity. Because what, what, the, what does uh, Hado do? Eh? What, what, he ascribes to Foucault a conception of life as a work of art, a uh, step in life, uh, ex exclusively in the aesthetic dimension in the border meaning of the term. Eh? A dimension that according to him is opposed to the ethical dimension. So in some way he is ascribing to Foucault the project of an aesthetization of life. Can we say aesthetization of life? Yeah. Uh, where a subject more similar to uh, a modern dandy or to an estate. Estate, you say? Estate. Like the descent of a Guzman's novel. Uh, Maud is life as a beautiful work of art. He's describing Foucault this idea. Foucault is saying that the status of life means that we have to mount, shape our life as a work of art in the aesthetic meaning of this term. So as opposed to the ethical meaning, like the Greek concept of beauty in art. But this is completely false. Eh? First, it's uh, completely false that uh, Foucault uh, never implies uh, the term uh, wisdom, sagesse, or the term uh, tra transforma transformation. I, the, 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 first, the first text we, I read, Foucault says the art of existence implies a transformation of the self. And then if we, uh, we now read the passages in which Foucault employs, employs the expression aesthetics of uh, existence, uh, we see that Foucault always locates this experience in the ethical sphere. And as if he had foreseen Hadot's objection in the course on the hermeneutic of the self, course of 1981-82, he warns explicitly against the modern temptation of reading the expression curve of self only in an aesthetic sense and not in an ethical sense. So he explicitly warns it. He writes, there is a certain modern tradition that prevents us from giving to this expression a positive meaning and to ground it on ethics. For us modern, the term aesthetics of life evokes a kind of dandism, eh, a kind of the affirmation of an aesthetic and individualistic stage. End quotation. And against this modern prejudice, Foucault underlines that, the, on the contrary, the most strict and severe morals of the Western culture, eh, the one he was working on uh, in the last year, on the Gaudissel, grounded precisely on the injunction, take care of yourself. And this was not an aesthetic injunction. It was an ethical command, an ethical imperative. The Pimeleia Eutur. So when Foucault uh, speaks of an aesthetic of, the, of existence, He's not at all referring to uh, the aesthetic, an aesthetization of 